All right, folks, here's a uh, one of my six all-natural aquariums, better fish aquariums. This is a 10-gallon. There's two little Dumbo, uh, I believe Dumbo Placat sisters. Uh, they get along really well. You can see the dirt layer at the bottom of the tank of the aquarium. Then on top of that, there's sand. And you can see what some people would say, oh, that looks gross. There's wood and there's leaves and there's a pine cone in there and there's gumballs that fall off the gumball tree and there's pine needles too. And you know what? It's a natural environment. They love it. There's no plastic in there, no plastic palm trees, no plastic SpongeBob's or Squidward houses. All that stuff is made from plastic and plastic is made from petroleum. So it's a petroleum product. We all know that plastic pollutes the ocean. And guess what? Common sense. It'll pollute your aquarium as well. Keep it natural. Do your best to eliminate as much plastic as possible. Or zero. But you can see that the sisters are quite happy in their all-natural environment. Live plants. Live muck and stuff just like they would get in uh, the waters of their native lands in Asia, such as Vietnam, such as Indonesia, Thailand, Cambodia. They live in rice paddies, uh, streams, um, ponds in the wild. They're not used to plastic decorations and, I mean, the plastic decorations are beautiful, right? But they're beautiful to us. They couldn't care less. But I'll tell you, that plastic stuff is messing up your water. That's why you're always chasing the, the problem you got with the nitrite and the nitrates and the pH and the ammonia, all that stuff. All that stuff you buy, is you're, you're turning it into your own worst enemy in the care of your fish. And I know you love your fish as much as I do, but give them what they want. Don't give them what you want. Don't force them to live in an environment that's pretty for you and not beneficial to them. Think about that. Just think about that and make the necessary changes. Look up dirted substrates, see how it's done. And that dirted substrate actually helps keep all your water parameters in check. All I ever have to do to this 10-gallon tank is once a week, I just remove a third of the water and add it back, clean water, back into the tank. That's it. Because the live plants, the sand, and the dirt underneath, which is the anaerobic layer, takes care of all of that who changes the water out in nature how come the fish aren't dying because of ammonia and nitrates and nitrites and ph in the wild there's no aquarium keeper for mother nature the system itself takes care of itself think about that check it out bye like subscribe Share with your friends.